You're watching Trevor Hutton's Deep Spear Fishing Journals with regular uploads and brand new content with your host Trevor Hutton. No holding back, just pure spear fishing action. So sit back, relax and enjoy the journey. This was my second last dive in Sedwana Bay. When we entered the water, we were immediately met by 8 to 12 sharks. There were 5 different species milling about around and below us. I knew that to get to the reef below, I would have to run the gauntlet and dive through a column of sharks. Nothing could have prepared me. Unfortunately, with my gun cam and trail cam pointing down, you cannot see what I saw. The visibility was good, and as I fell through the column, I could see the sharks rushing in at top speed towards me as they came to take a closer look. I saw many sharks on the way down and have no idea what was going on behind me. I had to hold my nerve and not give them any energy or I would have to abort. The one you see on the trail cam now was one of many. That one just came close enough to get picked up by the trail cam. At the bottom, I saw a tropical amberjack on the reef slightly above me. I had to swim to keep off the sandy bottom to get in range for a shot, which drew resources I don't like to spend down there. I got a good holding shot, and if you watch carefully now, my gun line takes off over the reef. Unfortunately, it takes 60 seconds for me to surface, another 30 to do my surface recovery protocol, and about 45 seconds to swim to my boy line at the surface. That's 2 minutes and 15 seconds before I even start to pull the fish up. Unfortunately, with so many sharks around, that fish was never going to come back to the surface. 